So also on this edition of Tesla Timeout, I have some uh, new uh, trunk struts and frunk struts. These came from Evanex in Florida. Um, I want to show you why I, I asked for them. They reached out to me seeing uh, if there's some stuff uh, they had, that they were had on promo uh, that I wanted to showcase for them. And I said, sure, the struts would be nice because the ones that I put in uh, that I showed you guys a few episodes ago, in the wintertime, they have an issue of opening all the way. So when the weather is warmer, uh, it was no problem, but I'll show you here. Sorry about the car being dirty, but it's a wintry day today and um, it's just kind of slushy and mucky, but I wanted to get this done on the weekend. So if I open the trunk, as you can see how it stops about halfway and then continues to slowly go and then it doesn't actually go even all the way up. Now the temperature here is about three degrees Celsius. So maybe 36, 37 degrees Fahrenheit and it really should go all the way fairly quickly. So in the warmer weather, that's what it does. It's kind of one uh, smooth motion all the way up. And as you can see, it kind of stops there. And I end up having to push it all the way up with a good amount of force to get it all the way up, to get it open enough so that I can get in there and get stuff. So, um, and when the temperature is even colder than this, it probably only goes about halfway. It stops around there, so even less. Um, so what I wanted to do is change out these struts um, because uh, um, uh, Evanex says that these ones that they sent me are much better quality and much heavier duty ones that will work in colder temperatures. So let me put it on uh, and let me show you what they look like. Now there's lots of videos about installation, but you know, needless to say, these are what they look like. They come packaged and they're a nice silver color, a chrome color. Um, and there's uh, they're labeled for the uh, trunk and the frunk. So these are the trunk sets. You need a couple of flat screwdrivers. They give you a nice set of instructions to put these on and then of course have your handy dandy towel so that you can put it on the glass when you're trying to take uh, the top one off here because uh, you don't want to slip and crack the glass that's been known to happen by people trying to do this. So uh, I'm not going to show you the installation because it's pretty straightforward but you, you can watch their installation video which is much more detailed. But let me take these ones off. It's just popping a couple of clips off and pushing it out. It's really really easy. It's a five minute job not even. So let me do that and I'll show you what they look like and how they operate. This is the first time I'm trying it, so you'll see what I see, something. So as you can see that they're on, so let me try closing it. Now I do find with these that you do need some effort to close them, as I mentioned before. When you get down here to this part and the springs tighten, they need a lot of effort to close. So kind of give it a good slam like that. And again, sorry for the dirt. So let's see how it opens. This is the first time I'm trying it too. Oh, wow, look at that, much different. You can see it was a nice smooth motion all the way up. Same temperatures, there's nothing different here. Uh, Evanex says that these will work fine in cold temperatures. So I'll see how it goes. I'm gonna put the front ones on soon as well. On. Let me just see how it looks like. Now these may open, but they had the same issue where they would just pop and it wouldn't open all the way. So let me see here, let me try it. Yeah. So see how it just pops and hangs there? When the weather is warmer, it will go all the way up. If I just lift this up with just a little bit of effort, you'll see that the struts take it the rest of the way. But in that colder weather, they don't open up all the way. And uh, that was the issue. So let me change them out and show you what it looks like. Now when you put them on, make sure you put them on the right way. You'll see that the thicker part goes to the top. The, uh, the, the opening where the strut is goes down to the bottom. Same way that the uh, OEM ones were installed. So again, just make sure you put them in. Once you pop the old ones out, you pull the spring, pop it out. All you do is just push it, just push it in, push it in, it just kind of pushes right in and locks in. It won't come out because you have to pull that clip out to unlock it. All right, so there they are put on. It doesn't really look different than the other ones. On these ones, they're not chrome or anything. They're just black and they're the same thickness. They're a little smaller, of course, than the trunk ones. So let me close it and see how it opens. All right, so now I'll try opening it. Ah, there we go. That's the way it's supposed to work. All the way up, a little bit of um, bounce at the end and that's common with all of them. But again, it's cooler. It's about two degrees now. Temperature's dropping a bit today. So I'll keep an eye on it and see how it uh, works in even colder in sub-zero because that's kind of where I noticed it the first time and that was it. So again, uh, EV Annex front and rear trunk struts. They give you nice instructions as well. Color instructions, everything is easily labeled. So these are the calipers. I mean, you go online, they have an online video which uh, walks through all the parts, but they're a nice metal aluminum um, with uh, clips and screws, pretty easy to install. 
So I'm not going to, to show you the install because they do a pretty comprehensive video, which you can check out. It's only a couple of minutes long. I just figured it's a nice day and I have some time. I'm going to install my OEM rims back on. Um, and again, they do come with written, written instructions as well. And you can also download them from EV uh, or Evanex website. So let me put them on. So you see, I have the tire off and I have the OEM ready to go back on. So these are pretty easy. Again, I'm not gonna do full installation, but basically uh, these clips just go on uh, and they just hang over on that part on each side of it. And then this goes on to cover it up and you tighten it down and that's what it looks like. All right, so here they are. Uh, changed them up today. I'll zoom in a little bit. And you can see they look pretty good. I mean, it's these wheels are dirty. Haven't had a chance to wash them yet or anything but just add that little bit of performance flair to a non-performance Model 3. So just wrapping up with these um, caliper covers, I just wanted to uh, let you know, I did reach out to uh, EvanX and talk to them about how these things work in winters. So in cold climates, you know, where we get salt and sand and all that kind of stuff, will these things rust out? And the answer is no, they're made of a aircraft grade material. Um, they're in the manufactured in the USA in their aircraft aerospace grade aluminum. So they won't rust and it's a patented stainless steel fastening system, which will keep it hold as long as you follow the instructions. Um, and as far as, you know, won't, won't add to rusting of the brake pads or anything like that, or the, um, the calipers or anything like that. So that's good. Now I also asked, um, you know, it is recommended by Tesla to take your uh, Tesla in for service every year for brake service, you know, to, especially in cold climates where we get yucky weather, we get salt and sand and all that stuff, and they will grease and lube and make sure everything works right. It's, it's not replacing the pads, it's just making sure that everything's moving properly. So I asked them about, does this need to be removed? And the answer is yes, it needs to be removed for the service. Now, some Tesla service centers may remove it themselves because it is pretty straightforward and some may not. So it's really dependent on who you get and and uh, what I would do is if you get these and then you take your car in for a brake service, talk to the reps first, talk to them and find out if they will remove these. These are pretty easy to remove. As you can see by the instructions, it's just a reverse. Um, what I'm going to do is keep a hard copy, a printout of the instructions, of the installation instructions in the car so that when I do take this in for a brake service, um, I will give it to the technician and let them uh, and ask them if they can do it. Otherwise, I may have to take these off beforehand. So uh, that, again, it's all personnel dependent and your attitude with them, if you're nice and kind, most likely you'll probably be able to get thing, more things done than yell at them. All right, so this is the glove box organizer from uh, Evanex. Um, as you can see, it's just a couple pieces of plastic that you put together. They ship you the instructions. All right, so here's what it looks like assembled. It just uh, nicely fits in there, as you can see. When you have it the right way, just follow the instructions and it adds as a bit of a separation for stuff in the glove box. So let me put some of the stuff in here and see what it looks like. All right, so there's some of the stuff that we had. I needed to clean up my glove box anyway, since it was kind of dirty, but you know, it's got room to put pens and all kinds of different things that you have. So it's just a nice little organizer, helps add a little bit more additional room to keep things from sliding around. So, well, thanks for uh, tuning in to this edition of Tesla Timeout, and I hope you enjoyed some of the products that I reviewed there. Uh, continue to follow me on Twitter, and thanks everybody for watching on YouTube. If you have any comments, I'd love to hear from them. If you have some of these products, please let me know your experience. And don't forget, check out the show notes for any discount codes and links to installation videos and all that good stuff. I also have a Tesla referral. So if you're interested in getting some free supercharger miles and buying a Tesla, please use my referral code. I would very much appreciate it if you did, because I hope to travel more in my Tesla Model 3 and I'd love to get some free miles as well out of it. So everybody take care and until the next show, I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye. Spring through New York City Like in my dreams with New York pretty I wanna fly alone in New York City Run scheming light in New York City Awakening it is falling, dreaded hot Be sure to stay and stay at high Bites downtown at hard and night fly Central hero shining silver beach lullaby And rather be there in New York Oh,
sat down from New York City.